And welcome back to the morning show. Many people are turning their sides to holiday planning, but many families are struggling this year. Now families are facing tough choices about traditional gatherings while maintaining a positive outlook. And here to talk with us today about well-being and practicing gratitude during the pandemic is Carl's chief nursing officer, Elizabeth Angelo. Elizabeth, how are we doing today? Good morning. Doing well, Mac. How are you? Excellent so far. Now, just to start off with here, we have Thanksgiving coming up. Can yeah. you explain to us uh, a few things that we're thankful for or should be thankful for? Absolutely. So I think this year it's more important than ever to be thankful for both the little things and the big things. So um, certainly at the top of my list uh, this year in terms of gratitude is thankfulness for our healthcare workers um, who are doing such an amazing job caring for the community during this pandemic. Um, also, of course, thankful for our veterans today. And then on a simpler note, thankful for this beautiful fall weather um, to live in the Midwest where we get to see the colors of fall change. Uh, I think it's just so important to look for those things around us every single day uh, for which we can be thankful. A breath of fresh air this morning, aside from all the doom and gloom that we're used to here with the news. And then how do we keep a lot of those healthcare workers refreshed? I'm sure a lot of people, including yourself, you know, you're probably stretched pretty thin. How do we keep, you know, everybody motiv motivated on the uh, healthcare fronts? Yeah, thanks for asking that. This is something none of us have lived through or experienced before. And so absolutely, I think in terms of motivation and refreshment, it just starts with an acknowledgement of where we're at and that the work that we're doing in healthcare is incredibly meaningful and hard, um, challenging. And so I think starting with just a sincere thanks to our team and an acknowledgement for the incredible work that they do and the focus that they keep on the people that they serve, um, that's so important. And certainly we're looking for tangible ways to support team members as well, whether it's having take home meals prepared in our cafeteria or a scrub central location where they can pick up a uniform. Um, we want to do whatever we can to come alongside them and make their jobs a little bit easier right now. And as a community, how can we show our support for healthcare workers altogether? Well, beyond all, we would love for you to help us in slowing the spread of the pandemic. And so the precautions that you hear so much about and that um, we share on social media are incredibly important, especially as we head into colder weather and we're seeing such a dramatic uptick in COVID cases here in our own communities. And so those um, the pieces of advice around masking and social distancing and curbing unnecessary gatherings, Boy, I know we are all so weary of that at this point in time, but it's really never been more important. And so um, I, I really do just uh, hope that people will keep healthcare workers in mind as they're considering holiday plans and get togethers. Um, we've seen an uptick in cases after each holiday throughout this pandemic, and we certainly expect that the indoor holidays during the colder weather seasons um, will bring even more spread. And so we want people to find meaningful ways to celebrate and to um, gather, whether that's virtually or, or finding that human connection, it's incredibly important. But we also want our communities to take the precautions needed to keep um, themselves healthy and well. And what are you doing to address the mental and physical well-being of staff members at this time, too? Yeah, great question. So our team members are also our patients and our neighbors and, and your community members. And so, so much of the advice that we share to everyone applies to us as healthcare workers as well. And I think um, it's incumbent on each of us in this challenging time to look to the things that we can control and to the things that we can reflect on with gratitude, um, find new ways to connect with the people that we love, even if we can't be with them in person right now. Um, those, those human connections and relationships are so incredibly important. And then of course we want to be available to anyone who's having a particularly hard time. We've got a robust employee assistance program and a number of other um, opportunities set up to help team members that are, are having a particularly tough time with the pandemic, whether that's homework help for kids whose school schedules have changed or a child care resource center to try to point people toward child care options. We know that our healthcare workers are really feeling the effects of the pandemic both at work and at home. And obviously their personal lives are so important too and we want people to feel supported across the board. And right now, what if someone's interested in getting involved with healthcare? Are there opportunities at Carl right now? 
there are so many opportunities. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's that healthcare is critical and that the work that we do in healthcare is deeply meaningful to the communities that we serve. Um, I can't imagine a more rewarding career, even on the tough days, what a privilege to know that we're here to care for the people that need us. Um, and there are lots of opportunities in healthcare. So Carl offers paid training programs to people interested in healthcare careers. We've got opportunities both in inpatient and outpatient settings, as well as a job readiness and learning program, tuition assistance, and so many opportunities to grow your career. I started as a healthcare tech at Carl 18 years ago and have been so thankful for the opportunities to continue to serve in new and different ways. And so if you're thinking about a career in healthcare, we'd love to talk with you. And last little follow-up question here as well. What can we expect to see locally in the coming weeks? I know holidays are coming up. Are we going to see a spike in those cases? Great question. All the information we have today is that um, the number of cases really are ticking up pretty dramatically. And certainly we're concerned as the weather gets colder and more gatherings move inside that that's going to potentiate the spread to a significant degree. And so um, now is a time for caution. Now is a time for revisiting our habits and behaviors to make sure that they're aligned with what's going on in the community. We know that we have significant community spread at this point in time. And so um, we do anticipate that the number of cases will continue to rise over the coming weeks. And we're doing everything we can as healthcare workers to be prepared to meet the needs of the community, whatever that looks like. All right, so Elizabeth, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you this Wednesday. Thank you, have a great day. You too, stay safe out there. Jack has your forecast next. We'll be right back.